Hey everybody, welcome to this week's quick video of New Week, New Organized You. My name is Brenda Tringali. I'm a professional organizer and owner of At Your Fingertips Organizing. So I have a question for you. Do you toss and turn every night because you didn't accomplish the things that you needed to on your to-do list? Uh, do you have a to-do list? Uh, or do you even know what your to-do list is? You may not. So um, this month I am talking about um, my, one of my favorite authors, David Allen, in his book, Getting Things Done. He's a productivity guru, and I just love him. Um, I'm always rereading this book. I actually uh, will be summarizing his five-step methodology for getting things done. Uh, actually, this is a teaser because I'm hoping you'll read the book because you'll be so intrigued by these videos. Um, is it an easy system? Uh, I won't call it easy, but is it worth it? Absolutely. Definitely worth your time and the investment in yourself. So here's my dilemma. It's a five-step process. However, if you may have noticed, I release my videos every Sunday, and there are only fun, excuse me, four um, Sundays in the month of October. So I am going to have to cheat and double up one week. So this week, I am actually talking about the first two steps, um, David's first two steps. So the first step is called collect. Now, what I've done is I've just put together a workflow diagram, and I will post this um, below. Uh, but I just want to be able to point to it. I don't know about you. I'm a visual person. I need to see things. Step number one is collect. Well, what does that mean? That means that you need to collect and document all your to-dos. So get them out of your head. If you have an inbox, get them out. Get them out of your email, in your voicemail. If you have scraps of paper all over your home or office, get, get everything out, put them in one place, and you know, gather them and collect them and put them in one place. So they're going to be um, things you can do right now. They are going to be smart, uh, excuse me, part of small projects. They'll be part of big projects. They could even be long-term goals. Just pull it all together and put it all into one place. So you're probably saying, well, where do you put it? Okay. So if you're a paper person and you like to keep all that stuff on paper and that works for you, that's fine. Um, I am not a paper person. I am a tech nerd. So I use an app. Um, I've tried a lot of different apps. I started out with the free ones. None of them worked for me. I finally made the investment in myself and in my time, and I purchased OmniFocus. So that's what I use. But again, there are a lot of different apps out there, so you should try out the free, um, free ones first. Now, the reason I use an app is because I want to um, have the system, all the information, of course, at my fingertips so that I can access it on my laptop, um, on my iPad, on my iPhone, whether I'm home or at work or on vacation. So um, again, I want it at my fingertips. So we talked about step one, which was collect um, all your to-dos. Step number two is process. So you're going to look at your to-dos and say, okay, what is it? And is it actionable? Is it something that I can take action on? So, um, okay. So there'll be a yes or a no answer for each and every item. So if it's a no, then uh, probably it'll fall into three, one of three different categories. One is it's just trash, so get rid of it. It's a, it's a phone number you don't know who it belongs to, just dump it. Um, two is, you know what, I don't need to worry about now, um, about it right now, so I'm just going to put it on my maybe or someday list. And the third one could be that it's reference material. It's not actionable, but you want to hang on to it for future reference, so you would file that away. Okay, so again, those were those three options were for items that you could not take action on. However, you will have items that you can take action on, and those will fall under the yes column. So what you want to do is ask yourself the question, what is the next action? What is the next step that I need to do to make process, uh, excuse me, progress on this? And once you determine what that step is, you're going to ask yourself another question, which is, will it take less than two minutes? So if it, uh, if the answer is yes, it's going to take less than two minutes, just do it, okay? Do it. Get it done. Uh, if the answer is no, it's going to take longer than two minutes, then um, you either can maybe delegate it to someone if you're not the right person to get that task done, or you can defer it and um, put it off, not put it off, excuse me, you want to schedule um, possibly a day and a time to take that next step. Okay, so hopefully this is clear. As I mentioned, I will attach this uh, down below. 
I know this is a lot of information, but I promise you that uh, these first two steps alone will really help you clarify um, not only all your to-dos, but also um, what the next step is and how long will it take and can you do it right away or can you not? Um, so if you're feeling overwhelmed by all the things that you want and need to do, I challenge you to follow along with me this month. Take these first two steps. So collect and process. And then tune in next week when I summarize David's third step for getting things done, um, which is called organize. Oh, that's my favorite topic. So anyway, that is it for this week. Please remember that my goal is to educate you every week on how to get more organized and productive at work, home, and in life so that you save time, save money, and so the things you need are at your fingertips. And if you know of others who could benefit from my videos, please share this. And please know I am so grateful to you uh, for watching and for all of your support. I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.